Welcome back to the Minifigure Creations channel. I'm your host, Chase, and today we're going to be going over the complete rundown of every summer 2023 LEGO Ninjago set. Now, today we got a big leak of a brand new image of one of these sets that we'll talk about in a second. But I, when we get to that part, I'll show the image, but I'm so excited that we have the chance to go over all of these new sets for this new series, Ninjago United which I'm pretty sure that's the name, but it's a n new series, most of the same characters, but as you'll see, there's some new characters, and we can see in the sets. So there are approximately 5, five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sets in this wave, which is a massive wave. As you see, the price vary from $370 to $10. Um, this last one being Ninjago City Markets, which is the new uh, modular for this year. We had Ninjago City Gardens in 2021, Ninjago City in 2016, and also I think in 2018 we also had uh, Ninjago City Docks. So this will be Ninjago City Markets. That I don't think is completely connected to this wave, but it is coming out around the same time in either August or um, June. So let's start off with this first set. Ninjago 71777, Kai's Dragon Power, Tornado, Spinjitzu. Like the, for the first three sets, they're the Spinjitzu spinners that we've seen. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of some things we've seen in the past. That's the idea that I, we get from this set. But it looks pretty promising, but there's really nothing much to expect. If you're really going to buy this, you're probably going to buy the entire wave. Or you just want the minifigures. I'm sure it's going to be fun, but the thing that makes this a little interesting is they all have different names, like this is the Tornado Spinjitzu, Drifting Spinjitzu, Cyclone Spinjitzu, and based on my Ninjago knowledge, I know that there's Air Jitsu, and then there's the Spinjitzu Burst from Master of the Mountain, um, so there's different, maybe we're going to get introduced to new types of Spinjitzu in this new series. Okay, so moving on to the next set, we have 71789, Kai and Ross, Car and Bike Battle. Ross, this is one of those new characters. I don't know if this is going to be a villain or this is going to be a new ninja. Because as we saw in the pictures of the new set, um, there is a, there are new ninja. But it's going to be car and bike battle. Nothing we haven't seen before. Um, probably just going to be red and fire. Um, if it is a villain, it will probably be cool, t a different villain vehicle, but that's all we can expect so far. So the next one is the 71790 Imperium Dragon Slayer Hound. Now this is really interesting because we have no idea what this is. This is no ninja name, so this is probably going to be a new sort of dragon-esque sort of monster, I guess. Or it's a Slayer Hound, so it's going to like be a dragon killer. Imperium, maybe that's the name of the villains. We really don't know ex what to expect, but this is $20, as well as the last one. So it's not going to be too big, but I'm pretty sure this has something to do with the villains of this season. Next up, we have Zane's P Dragon Power Spinjitzu Race Car, which is set 71791. Um, so this is $35.99, or $34.99. Euros, oh, also, this is Euros. They're basically the same as dollars, so this is probably going to be um, $34.99 USD. Same with all the rest of these sets. There's not going to be any difference because the Euro and the dollar are basically the same. Probably Canadian, you can expect based on other sets. I don't know this, the prices for sure, but you can, based on previous sets, like this, let's say this was, I don't know if it shows Canadian dollar here, but this shows certain things, um, like you can compare the prices based off these sets that are the same to find out Canadian, also for, to find British pound and Australian dollar, but yeah. Um, so we have the 71791 uh, Zane's Dragon Power Spinjitzu race car. Dragon Power reminds me of this thing up here, Dragon Power, these three. So it's probably going to be something sort of uh, like that, but... I'm not sure. Spinjitzu race car. It's going to be a race car. I don't think we've ever gotten a Zane race car before, but it's a dragon. I don't know. A lot of these sets have kind of vague names. 
Okay, so this next set, next set is 71792, Sora's Transforming Racing Bike. Sora is a new character. It could be an ally, a new ninja, or a villain, like maybe Harumi. Like, um, we haven't gotten a female villain in a long time, but I think it's interesting because Sora may be a new ninja, maybe because I don't know what color she would be, but this is retailing for $45. Um racing bike we've seen basically every um vehicle in ninjago before but i'm sure this will look pretty interesting because it does transform so that's something that we've never gotten and same thing with this next set heat wave transforming lava dragon transforming in is in the name so it probably transforms like the set that we got in january the where is it the zane's ice dragon creature this one remember you it can transform into sort of mech like, it wasn't super cool, but hopefully these will look a little better. Next up, we have Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team Max. Now, this was the set that was leaked earlier today, um, or yesterday, depending on when you were watching this video. It looks really interesting. It looks a lot like something that we got in, like, the second wave of Ninjago with the Stone Warriors. It looks like that, but green. And that is Aaron, who's supposedly the new green ninja. And Lloyd will be take on the identity of the golden ninja, like, permanently. So there's a small Lloyd's neck mech you can see. And there's this big green mech that is there. And you get our first look at the enemies. They look very similar. I'm, I'm not too similar. They're like a cross between the Oni that we saw in Season 10 and... And the villains that we got in um, in the January wave. But they also kind of look similar to the new Monkey Kid wave villains. Um, the picture isn't that clear, but that's what I can get. This set is going to be $90. Uh, oh, no, wait. No, it's going to be $80, actually. Sorry about that. Um, but it's Team Max. One of them's a lot bigger than the other. So I don't know how this is going to contribute to the storyline. But we have the image and so that means we can get sort of an, a picture of what the other sets would be. But like we said in the January wave, these sets looked absolutely, there was no theme, nothing that like repeated. Like these mechs, like they're standardized mechs, they look like the ones um, that is in the picture. But like, like this Titan mech in the Ice Dragon creature and the mech rider, um, they looked nothing like they had nothing in common. But also, those were not based off any show. Okay, so the next set we have is $90. It is the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. Now, this is going to be a very cool set because we have Dragon, Dragon Slayer. This is going to be a temple. We haven't had a temple in so long. I'm so excited to see. We did have that tempo, temple um, in the January wave of last year, the Ninja Doja Temple. But that was basically a remake of one that they did in, like, 2013. So I'm ex so excited to see what this set looks like. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next one. First, our $100 set is the Elemental Dragon versus the Empress's Mech. So the Empress is going to be probably a new villain. And Elemental Dragon, we've seen so many before. We know that there's, where is it? The Lloyd's Golden Alter Dragon, that's the latest one we've seen. There are dragons everywhere. Um, but this is going to be the Empress's mech. I'm excited to see. Hope probably be like this black and gold color scheme that we see the, with the villains. We'll probably have that. So next set is the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time. This looks amazing in my head. I would picture this being like the climax of the season. Race Against Time, shout out to Tanner Fishies about... He had this video about how the time uh, masters of time are going to come back in this season. I haven't watched it yet, but that's probably what this set means. This they're probably going to come back because time they're like really involved with time. Um, Destiny's bounty, race against time. That's just such a cool name. That doesn't even sound like a set. That just sounds like a movie. Um, but yeah, we haven't gotten a bounty in so long. I think the last bounty we got was like the land bounty. Let me see if I can find it. Um, yeah, that was in like the first wave of the new like sort of season. No longer Masters of Spinjitzu, just Ninjago. 
Okay, that's going to be $140. And now, okay, now we go to Nia and Arin's baby dragon battle. Arin may be a villain or it may be a ninja, new ninja. I don't wait. Is that? Oh, no, no. Lloyd and Arin. So Arin is the new green ninja. So baby dragon. So maybe this is the baby dragon. And I don't know why this is down here. It's $30. It should probably, it should be in between these two. That's all we see for now. I mean, nothing too crazy. We haven't seen Nina, Nia yet. Like, we have actually haven't had any sets for Jay that have Jay's name in it. Wait. We have, oh no, we have Nia up here. We have Kai, Lloyd. Maybe Jay is not going to be in this season. Oh, also no, Cole. I know the actor of Cole passed away. So maybe, Ar well, we know Arn's the green ninja. So maybe Sora is the new, oh, and Ras are probably the new uh, blue and black um, ninja. But, yeah, the new Lightning and Earth. So that may be interesting. Um, finally, we have Ninjago City Markets for $370. So excited for this. I had the original Ninjago City. It's destroyed now, but I love the building experience of that set. And I'm probably not going to get this because it is really expensive and I'm trying to save my funds for other things. But I'm super excited to see what minifigures it has and how it connects to the other sets because we've sort of got two corners and we've got one connecting so probably this will be a connecting and maybe we might get like a square so like they all like end up in a square so we'll get two more corners and three more like wide like wider builds um so then it's like 360 i have no idea but um this is probably the best set out of all these although the destiny's bounty race against time looks great um and the Temple of Dragon Energy Cores. Those are my two probably most anticipated besides Ninjago City Markets. So I'm very excited for those. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What set are you most excited for? And also, I just started a new Instagram with the same name as the channel. I'll put the link in the description. Go find it. Go li um, like and uh, follow me because I'm going to be posting all my videos before... Like, all the things that, um, all my video ideas, like, um, all the new leaks right there before the video is released on the channel. So you'll know ahead of time what the video is going to be. Um, and so make sure to like all my posts, um, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.